Hey friends, Jacob with Retro Sports here, your team sports headquarters in San Diego County. Today we're going to show you how to use our Mizuno Glove Steamer. Um, the Mizuno Glove Steamer was, was developed by, by Mizuno to uh, help break in gloves and actually re rejuvenate old gloves. Today we're going to use a Mizuno uh, MVP. It's, um, it's about in their $100 range. Um, it's not the, the, the highest end glove, but it's also not your, pr like your lower price point glove. It's right there in the middle. It's great for high school kids, a lot of kids for, um, who play travel ball. Um, it's good for them too. So, the Mizuno glove steamer kind of works like this. Is what we first do is we're going to beat is, is we're going to work in our glove by beating it with a glove mallet. Um, you have three flex point on, points on the gloves. You fold it uh, directly in half like this, and we just work it and beat it as hard as we can. You're going to you're going to just beat it and beat it and beat it. You can't be you, you can't be too gentle with it. So you're going to you're going to beat one side and. You're gonna beat the other. We're kind of shorten it here for for the um, for the sake of this exercise. And then after you do that, there's there's a second flex point where you take the thumb and you bring it down like this. And now we work that side. Beat it some more. Flip the glove over. Work that again. Then we're gonna take the pinky and fold it over the glove side, much like we just did with the thumb. And fold it over and hold it like this. And again, we're going to beat both sides. After we beat both sides of the glove, we want to open it up and we want to work the laces because you have to work the laces in too. Everything's stiff on here. So. After you work the laces, which you're probably just going to pound here and a little bit here and then down here on the bottom. After we pound the glove, we rub uh, Mizuno's Magical Soft uh, solution, which you spray onto a terry cloth towel or just a cotton rag, whichever you prefer, and we wipe the whole entire glove down. And this stuff goes a long way, so we don't need to use too much. You just got to usually spray it a couple times. And this stuff basically is just going to open up the pores of the leather and get the glove ready to be put in the steamer and take in all the uh, and take in all the steam and kind of kind of hydrate the glove. Not the glove, the leather actually. So after that, after we put that on, we put the glove in the steamer for about two to four minutes, depending on the glove. Your Mizuno MVPs usually go in for about two to three minutes. The, M the, the Mizuno MVP doesn't have as uh, stiff of a leather as say like the Mizuno Classic, Soft, or the Mizuno Global Elite, or the Mizuno Pro even. The Mizuno Pro, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to beat that thing a few times, put it in, uh, probably for three to four minutes, and then again, take it out, redo, what, redo the steps we just did, beat it with your mallet, use the Magical Soft Juice again, and then put it back in for another like three to four minutes. You never exceed four minutes. So anyway, the Mizuno MVP gets about two to three minutes. We set it in our steamer like that. Again, for about two to three minutes, depending. We take it out and we beat the glove again with the mallet. Working the same flex points in half, thumb to pinky, and then pinky to thumb. We, we, we beat both sides again, then, we're, then we work the laces as well. Then we would ask you, what position do you play? If you play infield, we're usually going to beat, we're usually going to shape the glove kind of open, kind of like this, so it gives you a bigger, bigger surface area for, for any ground balls to come in, makes it quicker for the, uh, for the infielder to get the ball out and throw it to first. If you're an outfielder, we're usually going to flare the fingers like so, and it's going to be a longer glove if it's an outfielder. We're going to flare the fingers and kind of give it more of a funnel down here so when you catch that fly ball, it comes right in and they can get it out and throw it into home or second base, wherever they're, wherever they're throwing the ball into or to their cutoff mat. So after we've asked you if you like, if you like the way your glove feels, um, some, some customers say, ah, you know, I want it a little softer. So we'll just, we'll just work it a couple more times, put it back in, let you feel it again. And then once we get your approval, we use the Mizuno Strong Oil, 
which basically is just going to recondition the glove because when we do put it in, as everybody knows, water and oil don't mix, and these these, these gloves are pre-oiled usually, so the oil is probably you're going to lose a little bit of the oil, and you don't want to do that. So when, when when we do, we just take just take your fingers. No need to use a rag or anything, because it's just going to get the rag's just going to soak it all up, and we just rub down the whole entire glove. You don't forget the laces. Do the palm, we do the pocket. When I say the entire glove, I mean the entire glove. And again, this stuff goes a long way. And right there is how you work in a glove with the Mizuno Glove Steamer. It takes about three minutes off of, uh, I mean not three minutes, three months off of a break-in period. And um, it also, like I said, rehydrates, rejuvenates old used gloves. You can use it on those too, because as you see, we do oil it. And it, and it just helps, it helps, um, um, lengthen the life of your glove. So again, this was Jacob with Retro Sports, your team sports headquarters in San Diego County. We hope to see you in store. Visit, visit us on our website at retrosports.net. Thanks.